This poem is called Tulipomania. Uh, it was, uh, sorry, that's not what I'm going to read. Uh, it's called Name Spelled in Crocus, Name Spelled in Dawns. Uh, both Tulipomania and Name Spelled in Crocus, Name Spelled in Dawns were poems that uh, Dean allowed uh, my friend Catherine and I to publish when we were um, running a magazine called Electronic Poetry Review. So you can actually read the poems online. This is name spelled in crocus, name spelled in dawns. Anything can be called morning, yet there is always a portal of smoke. Huh? I found that in my handwriting weeks ago and still don't know what it means. When you're made of sunlight, a cloud can kill you. Stop like that. Sometimes it's just a dollar bill go up, gone through the dryer. Or an old list in a jacket <coughs> makes the whole composite arboretum appear. But not this time. I just had a relatively sensible conversation with a friend about her dog. The dog wasn't as sick as everyone supposed because Words are only made meaningful, a student wrote about Tristan Shandy, by emergent, constantly deferred context, always yet to appear. We can never know nothing, like I was born three seconds ago, for 37 pages, but she's just asking for it. Reckless, I wander the lingerie department. Reckless, my blood type. Sometimes a mouth full of nectar, sometimes alkaloids, but I do go on. Used to think there were only two things we could never understand. What happens when you die and what happens when you fall in love. But in each case, it looks like something charred, hammered until it's all minnows. Thereby I, Dean Hayward Young, Scion of leafy glee and blitzed derision, take up this torch. If you need an explanation, go to the DMV or a cardiologist. <laughs> if you want cake or colorful threads or moving boxes, you must follow me back into the world, which doesn't hate us, no matter how matter I. And I, I thought I would read this poem for Dean. It's a, a new, newish poem. Um, and I, I felt it was appropriate because uh, uh, it has a lot of organ in it. Uh, it's uh, in response to an organ piece by Messian uh, entitled uh, uh, Song for Little Birds and Waters. Uh, it's from a longer organ piece called Mass for Pentecost. So this poem is Mass for Pentecost, Canticle for Birds and Waters. There is no cause to grieve among the living or the dead so long as there is music in the air. And where the water and the air divide, I'll take you there. The levee aureat with yellow thistles, white moth wasp and dragonfly. We could not wish unless it were on wings. Give us our means and point us toward the sun. Will the spirit come to us now in the pewter paten of the air, the fluted coal of dabbler drakes, the deadpan honk of the white-fronted goose, the tule goose? Tongues confused in the matchstick rushes, high, High the bald pate cries, and in the air, and in the air, the red-winged blackbirds chase the damselflies. Triumph over death with me, and we'll divide the air. 